The first budget after losing parliamentary majority and the Modi government has acknowledged the severity of youth unemployment, seemingly the biggest source of social angst in the world's fastest growing economy. The Modi government has always kept infrastructure in focus as a means of fostering employment generation. Government's capital expenditure has surged five times over the last 10 years. That has not changed, with 11.11 lakh crore rupees allocated towards CAPEX even this time around. But strategies towards job creation have changed and how. New employment schemes have been announced, more funds have been allocated towards skill development, and job generating ecosystems such as startups and MSMEs have been given huge stimuli. Here are some of the major announcements. 1. The government has announced a direct cash transfer of one month wage up to a maximum of 15,000 rupees to those entering the workforce for the very first time in all formal sectors. The amount would be dispersed in three installments. The eligibility limit of this would be a salary of up to 1 lakh rupees per month. This scheme is expected to benefit as many as 21 million of India's youth population. 2. An extremely innovative scheme that provides internship opportunities in 500 leading corporate firms to 10 million freshers over the next 5 years. Under the scheme, an internship allowance of 5,000 rupees per month along with a one-time assistance of 6,000 rupees would be provided by the government to all interns. Under Budget 2024, as much as 2,000 crores of rupees have been allocated towards this initiative. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's budget speech suggested that on an average every company will have to take 4,000 interns in one year. How the government goes about implementing this remains to be seen. 3. The government has allocated 10,000 crore rupees towards a new employment generation scheme or NEGS. This scheme is set to incentivize employment primarily in the manufacturing sector. The scheme would be linked to employment of first-time employees. Both the employee and the employer would be directly provided with an incentive with respect to their EPFO contributions in the first four years of employment. This scheme is expected to benefit 3 million of India's youth seeking first-time employment. 4. The government, recognizing the expectations of employers as much as employees, has announced a reimbursement of 3,000 rupees per month for two years towards their EPFO contributions for each additional employee recruited. This is expected to incentivize employment for another 5 million people. 5. The Finance Minister has allocated 1.48 lakh crore rupees towards education and industry-specific skilling over the next five years. The government expects 40 million of India's youth population to benefit from this initiative. 65% of India's growing population is under 35 years, and many lack the skills needed by a modern economy. Estimates show that about 51.25% of the youth is deemed employable. In other words, about one in two are not yet readily employable, straight out of college. The schemes announced by the government are for these numbers. Now it is time to watch out for the implementation and the results. Would it be really raining jobs in India in the times to come?